Hello and welcome to another update video about Fetch AI. Yeah, we see very, very corrective price action to the downside. Quite a stretched out correction, not very deep yet in the support area, but very much overlapping and corrective price action to the downside after the move to the upside was very impulsive, especially the move between the 5th of March and the 10th of March. So I see a potential 1-2 setup here, as mentioned in the last video. The support area starts already at the 23.6 FIB level um, here in wave 2. Okay, that's at 255. We're currently above that level still. So you see how relevant it is, but it's um, normally not deep enough for a reliable wave 2. But I have to say that, you know, pullbacks have been extremely shallow. So I cannot rule out that what we're doing here is still a wave two, or even if it, it might turn early, you know. Um, but what we talked about in yesterday's video was that, hey, yeah, we saw a rally while Bitcoin was selling off a bit, but it was only a three wave corrective rally. So not yet a sustained breakout. We've dipped deeper into the support area, but overall, this is still a very, very shallow wave two correction. So what I'd like to see is at some point in this region, a reaction to the support region that will create a first impulse to the upside which should take the price first of all above the B wave high what I have labeled now as wave B of two that's at three dollars and well three dollar level yeah so a break above three dollars would suggest that the third wave to the upside is unfolding and then obviously confirmation for the same will be a break above three dollars and thirteen that's the wave one high the overall wave structure is not very clear, okay? So it's not very clear on the larger time frame, not very clear on the smaller time frame. Best I can do is that we say, okay, on the wave, um, on the 5th of February, we had a wave two low, a larger degree wave two, five waves up in a wave one, then, well, that would be wave one of the larger degree third wave, then a wave two pullback of the larger degree third wave, and that this is another one, two setup, just again, um, quite a shallow wave too okay so it, it can it can turn around at any point now but i gave you the key levels that basically would suggest that this third wave to the upside has started what would be the target or targets so if indeed if indeed a third wave started from here now we talk about the third wave of the third wave, then I'd like it to get to $7.58 as an ideal target, first ideal target, then a wave four and then a wave five. That would be a completion then of the larger degree third wave. And depending on how, you know, how low we go in this wave two, those targets might still change. So they are very much moving targets until we have a confirmed low in place in this wave two. And a confirmed low in place, we, we only have that if we get a first impulse above the wave one high. That just gave you the levels for that. So basically what that means, we cannot really determine the ex exact pathway that a correction is taking here in this wave too. Because there are more than 10 patterns in Elite Wave that um, relate to corrections. So, you know, it could be a simple ABC, a WXY, you know, even more complex correction, a combination pattern. There are many options here for these corrections, how they can unfold. Therefore, it's never, you, you can never know um, before a correction has started to unfold what the pathway will be. But we have the relevant support levels to watch. And I can tell you that um, the next support is 227, then $2.06. 186 and even 161. Now, at the moment, I would doubt that we get down to $1.61, but technically, this is the entire zone we have to allow the price to use in this wave two correction. And the third wave rally should obviously take the price to, yeah, I gave you, you know, $7 plus, you know, but that would only be the third wave and then four or five of a larger third, then a larger fourth and a larger fifth. And that's how we can climb higher eventually possibly to $10 plus. I don't want to get too optimistic with the targets because um, they are mathematical projections. If we really get there, we'll see. 
as long as relevant support levels, yes, and there is a, a really good reward to risk ratio even from here. Um, but you have to give the the price, you know, the, the space it needs in this support zone, basically. But it's good to see that the move to the downside looks corrective, which means we have a lot of overlapping price action here. Messy structures, manipulation, some people would say, but exactly that is what we want in a correction. Yeah, not much more to add. So basically just waiting here for a reaction to the support zone to one of these levels. And I uh, hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.